Hello guys, my name is Willem and welcome to LR DX Cars. Today we're going to drive the Alpine A110 that's behind me. We are in Antwerp today. That's why I picked up this beautiful Alpine A110. They were kind enough to lend it to me for a couple of hours so I can make a quick review for you guys and show some of the cool features this Alpine A110 has. So enjoy watching with me and enjoy the drive with me. first drive impressions are really good to me or for me it drives not that hard or that difficult it's um, a car you can drive every single day you can just drive it whenever you want and um, don't need to stress about it of, uh, of oh uh, the car is too difficult to drive or too, too expensive most of the time to drive. A lot of you car people, you buy cars of three, two hundred grand and you can afford them, but if you can't drive them, then just please don't buy them because we want to see those cars on the road. And I think Alpine is priceable. They are, they look good. They are a real sports car. Like you can see, you have like real sports seats, full, uh, full support from the sides you have like this cool center console which really looks like you're in a ferrari or something with the two or the three buttons in the middle everything is finished quite nice you have all the comfort you need i think even more comfort than in some of the high-end sports cars where um, they are putting all the money in the looks and um, the engine of course but sometimes or most of the times even the, um, yeah, the navigation and the media systems on those cars really suck they are most of the times a bit uh... <laughs> bit outdated <laughs> what a great car <laughs> today is gonna be a very fun day I think <laughs> really going to enjoy this car a lot. Let's get out of this packed city. It's full of cars, full of people and um, let's find some open roads that we can test this car a bit and enjoy it a little. Also something I really like is the big pedals. You can downshift and like hear all the all the great sounds the car makes something really um, really cool nice g-wagon cool Porsche in front maybe we're going to <laughs> and you can also just cruise when uh, you don't aren't using the gas throttle that much the car automatically 
goes into the automatic settings so that you don't need to change gear. It's like really fun to drive. It's very easy to use, not that hard to find anything. The thing is just placed right where you want it to be. Nice that you have here a little storage space because you don't have that much other storage space in this car. Also something that is quite good I think is the road noise. You wouldn't expect it on a car like this, but even my Mercedes-Benz makes more road noise or has more road noise so uh, when you want to take this car on a longer journey it's also perfectly possible and um, yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't think on a sports car but uh, the only sound you sometimes hear is from the engine that's just back only when you give a little bit of gas you sometimes hear uh, some some sound from the engine but uh, the road noise is very good and um, also not as not a shaky suspension on the highway when you're driving for longer longer journeys it's also something that needs to be tested i think because yeah you want to take it on a vacation or, or, or drive it to the south and go on uh, some mountain roads with this car this car is not uh, yeah this car is alpine so it's created to drive on alpine roads. That's why the car is so light. This car weighs, I think, 300 kilos less than a Porsche Boxer or a Porsche Cayman, which is, for a sports car, immense. And if you compare it to other sports cars, like the Audi TT or the BMW Z4, they weigh more than 400 kilos more than this car. This car is just 1,100 kilos, which is nuts uh, in these in these uh, these days of the cars, because every car is very heavy nowadays with all the security and the safeties that the car needs to be needs to be the registration and the legislation needs to be done very good. So they have, I think, done the job very well by making this car very light and uh, I don't have things to complain about now but maybe they should have kept a little bit everything is in the inside that you want the media the navigation all the comfortable settings you want very comfy supported seats you can use yeah, it's quite a good car and um, when we are off the highway, of course, we're gonna test it some more, put it in the sport, enjoy it some more. Now, maybe give it some. <laughs> okay, guys, that was way too fast. <laughs> hey, somebody gotta do it and test it for you. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I really start to like this car. It really brings a smile in your face. <laughs> ah, I really like sports cars. <laughs> I really love the sound. I need a sports car by myself, it's more so because the Mercedes won't do it. <laughs> what a car. I really like the orange sticks in that they have done to match the brake calibers, which is really nice. To maybe contrast a bit with the blue color on the outside, that not everything is blue. I think for the money this car is and the 
things you can do with it that uh, aren't that much other cars on the market for now. <laughs> Different view, also nice, with a drive, virtual reverse, we put it in drive, it's in the sport setup. <laughs> it's really nice and just uh, go back a gear and then the, the bubbles, the bubbles of the car <laughs> really makes me smile every time. So guys, we filled up the car a bit because we were driving a bit sporty <laughs> and then um, things can get a bit out of hand <laughs> or the car of course is a bit more fuel or the car uses more fuel when you drive sporty of course but the overall range of the car is very good. I think you can drive like almost 600 kilometers with one full tank, so it's quite much. Also, it's only 6 liters per 100 kilometers, so not that bad, actually. Great sound. Great sound of the car. like it. To be fair, I, I of course thought it was going to drive nice and sporty and all the nice sounds, but it really impressed me a bit. The stabilization the car has on the roads is great. I went through some corners <laughs> quite fast. You guys have seen it all also, but the car never ever once tried to, to snap out or try to lose traction. That's something, um, something very, very good for a car like this because you will be driving it most of the times quite sporty and enjoying it um, till the max.
I'm used to big numbers in supercars, so 250 horsepower doesn't seem that much to me, but yeah, 250 is enough if the car only weighs 1000 kilos or 1100 kilos. Um, some small hatchback cars that are having 200-300 horsepower, the sporty versions of the hatchbacks weigh even more than this car. So it's quite crazy that they managed to do it all in one product and yeah, not lose any of the comfort or like the road noise is great. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything really to complain about on the car. So guys, what a drive this Alpine A110, a real go-kart on wheels, real driver's car, really enjoyed it very much. It's a, really a car to have fun in, to just drive, to experience. And a big thanks to Alpine, and if you're interested yourself in a Alpine A110, please Go to Alpine in Antwerp and uh, they will help you. A very big thanks to all of you for watching. Hopefully it's not the last time we're going to drive a sports car like this. So if you please put a like and a subscribe, then we'll, we can do this more in the future. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next video. Bye.